<laughs> I miss you, Mama. <laughs> Am I supposed to do? My mom passed away, and now it's just me and my daughter. <laughs> Well, I guess I should probably stop crying. I mean, that would be the best thing to do. I don't talk to my dad. There we go. Oh boy. Dad, are you in here? Guess not. I haven't been out on the balcony. Let me go look. I haven't been out here since my mom died. It used to be a favorite spot to sit in. And I don't know that's what I would eat lunch to watch me play. <laughs> I bet my dad is probably downstairs. Oh, here he is. <laughs> 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 Why, honey? Why? <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, sweetie. Uh -huh. You doing okay? Well, I've been better. I, I have to tell you something. Yes, Dad? Well... You know, since your mom's passed away, and she's the reason we moved out here. <laughs> what is it, Dad? I was thinking that we could move back to our old house, but then to our old area. What? You want to leave our, the city we moved to? Yeah. <laughs> Dad, can you please... What? What? I don't want to move. I made fun to you. My best friend lives beside us. And... I know, sweetie, but I've been thinking about this for actually before your mother's death. That maybe we should have... We should move. We should move. We should have moved out to that hospital. Because for three weeks, honey, no one really lived here. We were in the hotels and stuff. And now we just got back. And I've been thinking the past few days that I think we need to move away because this house has too many memories of her. And I don't think I'll ever move on if we live here. I think we would have to move. Well, can we move to another place in the city? No. We need to leave the city. Why? Because this is the city she passed away in. <laughs> so, I decided that we are going to move back to our old city. And we are going to sell this house. Sell this house? We just moved here in April. We moved in on April 16th, 2020. Earlier this year, I know, honey, but we've lived here for, what, let me think. Since today's December 16th, we've been here about four months. Yes, I mean, not four, ah, eight months. I know, honey. But dad, we're gonna be sad, I don't wanna move on. Yes. But, this house has bad memories because this is the house where I got the phone call that changed our lives. That she was in a car accident. 
I know that happened to your dad, but, you know, we, we can't just, like, we can't just say it's our fault. Well, I don't think we're gonna stay here. We're gonna move away. Please, stop packing. I'm gonna make up the sales sign and call a realtor. Please stop packing. <laughs> <laughs> but mom's out here. We'll have to come all the way up here to visit her gravesite. No, honey. We're gonna get it transported. I didn't buy her stone yet, so I'm gonna tra we're gonna transport it to the new city, okay? Now stop packing. <laughs> Dad, do we have money to buy a house? Well, we're not gonna buy a house. We're gonna move into a townhouse or apartment. I mean, apartment, not even a townhouse. We'll move to an apartment. Why an apartment? Dad, I like this house. It has all the space here. Yes. <laughs> well, honey, this house has horrible memories so i'm not gonna stay here if there's gonna be horrible memories that i'll remember okay let's start packing i'm gonna call the realtor dad well i guess that means i'm moving <laughs> well i guess we have to move well, yeah, I guess I have to tell Michaela the news. I'm gonna FaceTime her. Hello. Um, hello, how can I help you today? Hello, this is Mr. Boyle calling to inform you that Mr. Scott Boyle informing you that I want to move. Mrs. Don't. Yes, yes, I'm here. I'm informing you that I would like to move. You'd like to move? Okay, you don't sound very impressed. Well, not especially. Is everything okay, sir? Well, you probably heard on the news that my wife passed away. <laughs> And now me and my daughter want to move. Okay, when exactly do you want to move by? Well, I'm hoping the house can be sold in time for Christmas Day. And hopefully we could get someone to move in as soon as possible. Okay, well, I need to know, are you, would you... Be leaving all your furniture because if you do, then that means then um, you could get a higher paycheck for the house if you leave it fully furnished. Probably. Because we have all the old furniture in a storage locker. Because <laughs> we just don't want to give it away. So, yes. Because we bought all new furniture when we moved in here. Okay, well, wait now, can I come see you around 2.30? What time is it now? Yes, it's 2 o'clock. I'm still not working right now. Okay, can I come see you at 2.30? Uh, yes. Yes, you can. Okay, um, thank you, Mr. Boyle. Um, I will see you soon to discuss this. And then... I can also bring over a for sale sign if you would like and put it on your house. Yes, please. I would like that. Okay, Mr. Boyle. I'll be over very soon. Hi, Michaela. Do you want to come over? I have horrible news. Yes, okay. I'll come over. I heard what happened. You did? Yes, I heard that your mom passed away. I know. <laughs> Okay, yes, okay, bank, okay. Mrs. Jones, 
かねー。Do not miss it, though. No, I'm not. Mr. Boyle, is it okay if I come over? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Thank you. And I'm so very sorry for your loss. Thank you, Michaela. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. I have something to tell you. Okay. We can sit down if you'd like. Okay. Okay, tell me everything. What's going on? <laughs> on Friday, December 11th, my mom passed away. And now, we're moving. What? You said you moved in April. Why are you guys moving? Oh, Michaela, it's just because my mom is, or my dad is full of memories here. So, Chaz, this is the phone call. Uh, so, we got the phone call that she passed away and stuff. And the phone call we got when she was in the car accident. And the phone call. mean you have to start a new school? Yes it does! I have to change schools now! Well, we're on our last week of school before the Christmas holidays anyways. So yes, um, I'm fine, it's my last day at our school! My dad said I disappointed! But you haven't been in school much. No way! I haven't been at school! Are you going to go tomorrow or Friday? Probably not. They give you a week to clean the immediate family members. So, that means probably about... Um... What? So, um... Will you be back at school? I don't think I'm ever going to go back to school. Well, you'll have to for the new year. Yeah. I'm going back to school on, um, because on Friday, oh wait, it's even been longer than that I've been out of school. It's been since the car accident since we left. I haven't been in school a whole month almost. And now it's going to be almost, I'm never going to work back to school again. Because my last time was the day my mom was in a car accident and I had to leave school early. And now it's going to be my last time I'm ever going to work school. Well, you started it back in April. I know. And then you started in September of this year. <laughs> it's okay. I'm here for you. Come in. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Jones, where would you like to sit? You can go to the kitchen, okay? Okay, Mr. Jones, so... Let's start discussing things about your house. So... When did you move in? Um... We moved in... In a, April... On April 16th, 2020. Okay, and today is December 16th. That's eight months. They say they recommend that you live in a house a year before you think of moving, but I think in this case they'll understand. 
Yes. Um, so you're agreeing to sell all furniture at the house, correct? Yes. All furniture. Everything is staying. Because I don't feel like moving and packing up so many things. Are you leaving any other items behind besides furniture? Well, to be honest, if we look in the closet, um, I can give you a house tour, but if we look in my wife's closet, there's all her clothes there. So I don't think I want to bring any of that with me. Okay, well, this thing those can sort the house. Yes. So pretty much everything, even accessories, everything. Okay, okay, so what are you planning on bringing with you? Just some clothes and some pictures and some sentimental things. Everything else is back at home, so we're in our storage locker. Okay. Check. Um. Okay, well, let's go around your house. So, Mr. Boyle, everything in this living room is staying, even, like, all your books and stuff? Yes. TV, DVD players, everything. We are going to leave that behind. Okay. What about, like, electronic phones? Yes, all of that. We're just going to cancel everything. Okay. So your kitchen, everything is staying. But what about this cabinet right here that you have everything on? That, well, that w was bought when we, when the, they did the kitchen. So, yes. Because we had the kitchen put in in June 2020, so I don't want anyone taking that out. Wow, why so late? Well, it kept getting delayed. We had it on the way, then it just kept getting delayed. <laughs> okay, well, let's go look in the master bedroom. So, yes, yes, just like you said, everything in here is staying, so... Um, bedroom, all of it. Okay. Like I was saying, this is my wife's favorite dress, and I, I would like to leave it here for the new, for someone new. Okay, Mr. Boyle, very well. Just like I said, this whole room will be staying, even the cabinets. Okay, all that. Is that in here is my daughter's room? Well, sweetie, you can meet the realtor. Okay. Hello. Hi. I'm so sorry about the loss of your mom. Thank you. So, Mr. Jones, I mean, I'm Mrs. Jones. Uh, Mr. Boyle is all of your daughter's friends are staying. Yes, all of everything is staying. What? Even, even my toys? Sweetie, you have all of your old toys out in the locker. Oh, right. So when would you want them to move in exactly? Well, I want, we would like to move out as soon as possible. So I need to call the school and get my daughter, take my daughter out. And... So maybe in the next week? Okay, okay, so... Your daughter's gonna be moving moving schools. Okay. Well, I'm actually gonna make that phone call right now if you don't mind. Okay. Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you, miss. Here, I'll sit down. I'm so very sorry for your loss. Um... I know losing a parent is very hard. Guess what? What? I lost my dad a long time ago. He's been gone a very long time. And right now my mom isn't doing very good either. She fell down she fell down a staircase and broke her back and now she's in the hospital. She left us there in the hospital a long time. Oh my gosh. Yes. So I know what it feels like. I don't know how much longer I'll have left with my mom. But trust me, we'll get through it. Right. Right. <sighs> okay, I made the phone call telling them you 
will not be returning to school for the rest of the year. You will, will take you out and then I'm going to enroll you in your new school over the Christmas holiday. Okay. So yes, they can move in as fast as they want. Okay. We are going to go move into a hotel until, and then we're going to officially fly out over the weekend. This weekend that quick? Yes, so if and then and hopefully from if the house if we're gonna start having showings tomorrow, let's just hope by Sunday itself. And then we're gonna fly out on Sunday and we're gonna book our flight. 